kind of is it snowing there's a little bit of snowfall literally as I just started recording it's snowing I was gonna say it's been like some snow on the ground but I'm seeing full-blown snow right now so we're in Salt Lake for our live shows we have two sorry you're kind of cut out of the video that's fine <laughs> and it's very very exciting we haven't been to Utah in a while you know what's extra exciting is that this video is sponsored by Turo Yes. They literally heard me talking, I'm not kidding, in one of my last vlogs about Turo and they reached out and I was so happy because as you guys know we've been renting a bunch of different cars like on all of our different trips. It's become like an inside joke on the vlogs, I'm like different car, different day and we always rent through Turo. So I'm so excited to be working with them because this is a very natural just partnership for me. So Turo is very cool because it's not like the traditional car rental experience your life. I'll let you also speak to Turo because you love it. I love Turo. I've been using Turo for like two years. You basically can find a range of cars from an actual person. You could also list your own car if you wanted to like rent out your car. I feel like it allows you to find just a, a bigger variety of cars and it's also super convenient. When we've traveled, like and even this time, we got to, we got this car at the airport. Like the owner met us there and dropped the car off to us. So you can like set meeting locations and you don't have to like wait in long lines at the rental car place or not know what you're getting. I feel like that's a huge thing too. It's like you never really know exactly what I it's- love of picking the specific car. Yeah. You can see pictures of the inside, the outside, just everything. All the, if it has upgraded features, like you pick the car. The one you want. So it allows you to find like a more perfect car for your situation. And for this trip specifically, we wanted something. So we have Keaton, Abby, and Chelsea with us. So we wanted like a bigger car that, that was ideal for like driving us to the show. And obviously it's cold and it's snowy. So we wanted like a big capable car that could also fit all of our luggage and lug around five people. So we rented this Jeep Grand Wagoneer. It is so nice. So Chelsea and I actually rode around in one when we were in Dallas for our shows that was like what the driver took us around in and it was so nice and so when this trip was coming up and Leif was like what kind of car should we get I was like honestly maybe a Grand Wagoneer because like I was obsessed with this car specifically for what we needed we found this perfect one look how beautiful it is it's like very luxury I'm gonna show you guys like more of the features but yeah basically they have like thousands of different makes and models of cars so you just have a huge variety to choose from for what for whatever you need they have like little mini cars, Ferraris, like they've got the whole the whole lineup on Turo. So it's very seamless. You can just get the app and everything is there for you. It's very just easy to book. And you get a very personalized experience, which I love. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of the vibe of the car because it's fancy. It's giving luxury. When we first picked it up, we realized that there was massaging seats. We were on our ride from the airport and I was just laying back, literally getting massaged best case scenario. Here is the dash. Let's see some of the features. Massage chair. You could do medium. There's also all these different types of massage. Oops, I didn't click it. Like literally it's massaging my butt right now. We love that. I like this feature. Full on fridge. Full on fridge for your water bottles. They had water for us when we like got into it too, which was really nice. This is how it's so spacious. Like this is how big it is, and then it has the trunk too. And we unloaded all of our luggage, but um, again, it just like fit everything so well in this. They have a screen back here too, and screens where they could like watch stuff on these little TVs in the back. Also, look at this sunroof. It goes like so far back, and it's just so nice. It lets a lot of light in, 
and we can see snow falling, which is very special. So I'm gonna have a link in my description. If you guys wanna check out Turo, you can find your dream rental car. This is also awesome. What we've kind of been using it for is like we use it as an opportunity to drive different cars that we might want to buy in the future. And so it gives you the time to like drive it around for however long your trip is, or even if you're not going on a trip, like even if you just want to test drive a car, if you're like, oh, I'm interested in this specific make and model, if you find it on Turo, you can just drive it around for a week and then kind of make your decision. That's been actually nice because there's been a few cars that we've been interested in and then after we drive it around for a week, we're either like, uh, I don't know about that one or we're like, wait, we really like that. And so it's just kind of like gives you this opportunity to test drive something or just have a nice rental car for whatever your situation is or if you're going on vacation, going on a road trip, whatever. So highly recommend. I'll put a link in my description if you guys want to check it out. And it's a dream come true for me. Thank you, Turo. It's the day of the show, y'all. I am so excited. I feel like Eloise. Is that is it called Eloise at Christmas time or something? I haven't seen that movie in like 10 years, but that's how I'm feeling today. In my hotel robe with my eye patches on, getting ready to do my makeup for our live show. This hotel is so beautiful right now for Christmas. It's like so so festive and it snowed last night and it was just so beautiful so salt lake has been very good to us so far we're doing two shows tonight we've never done we're doing two in one night and one's at 6 30 and then one's at 9 30 so we have like two roughly two hours between them which will be good we might need to get some caffeine in our systems to get some to get re-energized for the second show but yeah it'll be really fun and then we're flying to phoenix to do another show so we are on our little tour and it's a dream come true we just try and have our show the days that we do shows be kind of low-key and like just not do that much to kind of give our mind space to relax because being on stage and reading stories and stuff like it's so weird how like in the moment I'm so energized and then afterwards I'm literally like just drained so we try and just have kind of like easy days on our show days wow my hair is the literal exact color as this headboard anyway so I'm about to do my makeup my skin is you know She's not thriving, but it's not horrible. Nothing a little makeup can't cover up, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna hire someone to do my hair and makeup, but my favorite makeup girl here, Danielle, she was not available to do um, our makeup, so I was like, you know what? I'll just do it myself. And I kinda wanted to have straight hair for this show, and that's like very easy to do on my own, so. I decided no glam this time. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. You know what? I feel like I'm getting a lot better at makeup and I feel so much more confident doing my own makeup for events. Whereas before I feel like I was like, oh my gosh, no, I need help. I need someone to do this for me. And lately I've kind of been like, I could give or take. Either way, I still have my spray tan. My neck is so much darker than my face because I do like my skincare every night still. So hopefully I have foundation that can match up with my tan. And that is a wrap. We're back home. We're eating room service in the hotel. What is my hair doing? We got some chocolate cake. We just ate some Caesar salad, some french fries, some burgers, and I am about to dive in. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. That's hitting. I need to take my makeup off. It was a great night. Two shows. What time is it? 12.50 a.m. Basically 1 a.m. It was a night to remember, guys. It was very chaotic. Very, very chaotic for us behind the scenes. We had a miscommunication and we thought that the event started at 6.30 and it actually started at 7.30. So it, we just were thrown for a whole loop pretty much this whole day. It was a success. It was so fun to meet some of you guys and hang out with you. Can't wait for Phoenix. Phoenix show in two days. Valley Girl Tour. Opinion on the cake. Rub it on the raspberry a little bit. Doesn't it hit the spot? It's, good. it's very soft. It's really good. Third opinion on the cake. Third opinion from our team. Wow. Getting the royal treatment. Fed chocolate cake in bed at a hotel. Mm -hmm. Ultimate. Oh. It was good, huh? That was really good. Thank you, our Virgo king. Getting everything organized. Cheers. Cheers. Abby, you're here in spirit. 
this looks amazing. Waffles. Delish. Oh, I literally, that was a jump scare. Like, you got a tattoo? <laughs> Is that the stamp from last night? Yeah, and this one. Oh. Yeah, I never saw them. I didn't have one. Kelsey got a farm animal fortune from a little store. There's and we're gonna see which animal it's six it. Six different animals. Which one are you hoping for? I kinda want the pig. Okay. Is it heavy? The pig or the cow? We want the squirrel, right, Leif? Squirrel. 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 It's a pig. duck. <gasps> a duck. Ducks are known for adapting and thriving. It's time to simplify, use your intuition, and focus on clarity. Oh. This will bring you an abundance of luck. <gasps> See, it's not what I want, lucky it's duck. what I need. Uh, Wait, a this lucky is duck. cute! I love it! <laughs> oh, the, the colors are so cute. Yeah, they're really cute. I feel like it, did they even It kind of goes with my house. It literally goes exactly with what you're wearing. Yeah. It's the exact colors. <laughs> yeah. It is what you needed. A little aesthetic. duck. A little Dude, duck. hazard for case. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> literally. I feel like an actual little marshmallow. It's kind of fun when you're somewhere where it's actually very cold to be wrapped up and cozy. Chelsea, weren't you saying living where we live is kind of like make pretend, or what did you say, like make believe? Oh, yeah, pretending it's cold. Make believe cold. Yeah, it's never cold enough to be like so bundled like this and be comfortable. You're always, it's just like, it's too much. So it's kind of nice to be somewhere where you're actually cold and then you can just be like this. And it feels so cozy and right. We got the whole gang. This car is very spacious, very luxury. <laughs> some volume. Usually I get my makeup done at Chrissy's, but I'm here kind of on like a random week weekend day because it's the only day I could come since I'm only in Arizona for two days. So anyway, I just did my own makeup today. I actually really like it. I've been using these like little individual lashes. I need to blend them a little bit better. I kind of did it fast, but I, I've been really liking them. They're just the like Ardell ones that you get at CVS or whatever, like at a drugstore. And I've only, I've almost used like this whole thing because I've used them like three times, but I just put like wispy longer ones on the end just kind of give my eye a little lift and I really like it anyway we're gonna go take my hair out and see what it looks like here's the fit check valley girl sweat set and Uggs I love being kind of like the inventor of fall fashion you know and just like wearing really unique items so that kind of explains my outfit <gasps> wow 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 Okay, I just got done with my hair appointment. I feel like this lighting is very dark and probably not doing it justice, but it looks so good. The pumpkin spice is back. It's crazy how fast red fades and how just, I thought my hair didn't grow that fast, but I mean, I have a, a few clip-in extensions, but uh, we trimmed it. My hair has just gotten so long and I'm like shocked how much it's grown and how fast it grows because my roots, my brown roots make themselves known very quickly after I get my hair done and I'm like, wow. And then my red always just fades so quickly. So I always just love getting it richened up and freshened up. I just feel like it like re-energizes me or something and I feel like so myself. So very happy that Chrissy could squeeze me in while I was here for literally one day. She is the best. And she also gave me like a bag of stuff. I'll have to show you some hair products in a little bit, but I love it so much. By the way, I just realized I have literally been wearing this shirt. I was like, they probably think this vlog is all like one day or something because I've been wearing the same outfit this entire vlog. The truth is, no, I am just obsessed with this sweater and it's like the only cute thing that I brought. Everything else is like very loungy aside from my outfit for the live show. So when I realized I was getting my hair done, I'm like, I literally have to wear the sweater again. I've worn it like four days in a row, but it is really cute. I also wore it for my photo shoot that I was planning for my like brand launch thing. So I'm really getting a lot of use out of this sweater, but it is very, very cute. It's just like an oversized, it's the perfect color pink. Anyway, I got it on major sale. I don't remember if it was on the website Forward or, far, or Farfetch, but it's like a random brand that I don't even know of. I just liked it and it was on sale. So I am just an outfit repeater. 
we just wrapped our Phoenix show. And I just like peeled a fabric tape on my uh, shirt to hold it in place because it's like super low. So I just ripped that off. It's like what it did to my spray tan. Anyway, I'm about to get in the shower, take my makeup off, exfoliate my body. And that is a wrap on our tour. We did LA show, Dallas show, two Salt Lake shows, Phoenix. And it was our first like mini West Coast tour for the podcast and it was so much fun. I am just so glad that we did that and I'm super excited for next year to do more shows. And I'm back at my parents and Leif went home. I don't know if I already said this, but Leif went home after Salt Lake. So he was not at this last show. So I'm just excited to fly home tomorrow and be with him and Lady. And then we actually only have like one day at home and then we're going on another trip. We're going to Mexico with Aspen and Parker. So that'll be really fun. And this past few weeks have just been very go, go, go. And I feel like Mexico will be very fun to kind of relax. So even though we're traveling, I think it's just gonna be like a very chill trip, which will be nice. In other news, I am obsessed. This is like the worst lighting to show you. I'm obsessed with these little lashes that I've been doing. They're like my new fixation. I just think they are, look so natural, but they look so pretty. I just put like three or four individual lashes on the end of my lashes and they look so good. I really like them. Anyway, I am so, so tired. We were up till like 2 a.m. maybe for our Salt Lake shows because we did a super late night one. It's like 11 right now, but I am just like so, so tired. I feel like after the shows, I'm always on a high for like an extra hour. And then after that hour is over, I'm literally like, I'm gonna take these lashes off. I literally just like rip them off. Cool, that one just fell. My spray tan is also getting like so splotchy. So I might exfoliate tonight in the shower. Kind of try and start getting it off because I've been scared to exfoliate because I didn't want it to be super patchy for the shows. Um, I will say that having a spray tan was very, very nice. And I do want to do that more often because it lasts so long. Like I've, I think I've had it for like five or six days and it's like still very much there. So yeah. You guys, I am so happy right now. I am officially home and I am so comfy and cozy in my own bed. There is nothing better than your own bed. After you've been traveling and if you're just feeling like tired and depleted, I have like literally put so much work into making my bedroom be the coziest, most comfy and serene, relaxing space. I talk about that on the podcast in an upcoming episode and I want to talk more about it. We're doing like an episode for the new year about morning routines. I'm trying to cultivate a really good morning routine for the new year, but what I've done really well is create a nighttime routine. I don't think I've ever like done a video on that or anything. I mean, if you guys watch my vlogs, you probably like see glimpses of it obviously, but I have like my red light lamp. Basically, I just put a red light bulb that I got from Amazon in my lamp instead of a normal light bulb. And then I have just like this little dish on the side of my bed with like this oil. It has a lip mask in there too, but I put the lip mask in my bag because we're leaving to Mexico tomorrow. So I've already packed, I got home and we've only had today, I like packed all my stuff for Cabo and now I'm going to sleep because we leave in the morning. But anyway, so there's a few things missing, but I also have the Skinny Confidential diffuser right here, which I have on right now and it just like makes things smell so nice and fresh. It's an oil diffuser. I have my phone just sitting by my bed. But you know what's awesome about this bed frame is that it has this little like area. So I will like read my Kindle at night and then as I'm falling asleep, I'll just set it on this little platform and then turn my uh, red lights on if they're still on. But anyway, I have my Kindle, which I am reading currently The Love Hypothesis, and it's legitimately taking me, I think it's been like a month, I'm not kidding. I think it's just because I've been busy. I truly am interested in it, but it actually took me a while to get into it, which kind of surprised me because this was like a very commonly um, recommended book to me, but it's like taken me a while to get into it. And I'm still kind of like, okay, this is like just dragging on a little bit, but I am enjoying it. So I definitely will finish it. I think I'm at like 60 or 70%. Let's see. Oh, 54%. Two hours left in the book. Maybe I'll finish it on the flight tomorrow. Anyway, so I'm reading that. I probably need to download another book too. And then, oh, I have a glass of water, which is necessary. I don't drink water super close to bedtime. I only drink this like when I get into bed and I'm reading and stuff, I'll like sip it here and there if I need it. But then I just try and not drink water because I don't want to pee my pants in bed. I have trauma. And then I have these two sleep gummies and they're just like melatonin, chamomile, whatever. They have like relaxing ingredients. 
So I will usually save those for like 30 minutes to an hour before when I want to fall asleep. So it depends when I get into my bed. Cause sometimes I get into my bed with like, I will get into bed at 8 a.m. or by 8 p.m. And I'm like, I don't want to really fall asleep for like two more hours. So I'll like read for an hour and then take the gummies and kind of like start winding down. But if I get into bed and it's like 10 p.m. or like 11 p.m. already, I'll just take the gummies immediately. You know what I mean? It just depends my schedule, but it is currently 8.59 p.m. Basically 9 p.m. I am so excited to sleep right now and just, I got a good night's sleep last night too. We're leaving kind of early in the morning and I'm actually getting up extra early to self tan before we leave because I hate sleeping in self tanner. I've decided I'm like over it. I don't like doing that anymore. It just makes me have the worst night's sleep because it feels so like gross and sticky and I don't know, I just don't like it. And it has a certain smell. So I had my spray tan right and it was great but it started like being kind of patchy and coming off so i exfoliated my entire body today but i'm going to cabo and i'm going to be in a swimsuit and i kind of want to self tan for that but i don't want to check a bag so i'm gonna self tan tomorrow morning before the airport let it like dry for 15 minutes and put my airport clothes on and then fly because otherwise i'm gonna have to check my bag only for my self tanner which i feel like is a bit annoying so it would be nice to just have a carry-on so that's my plan so i'm gonna go to bed honestly like I'm gonna take these gummies right now and I am ready to like fall asleep. I will just wake up early tomorrow, which I normally don't like doing, but I'm just like so dead right now that I just wanna sleep. POV, I'm trying to have a relaxing nighttime and morning routine, but I get on my phone every night and also every morning still. I'm kidding, I've actually been pretty good at not getting on my phone at night. I will like right when I get in bed, I'll watch a few TikToks, but then once I have my Kindle in my hands, it's like no more phone. I, I plug my phone in and I don't touch it. So I'm really good about that. I am so annoyed because I have the worst hab habit of getting on my phone in the morning again, which I got out of the habit do you guys remember when we moved to this house? I was like, okay, since I'm moving to a new home, I want to start a few new habits and then that's all my brain will associate with like being in this home because moving is a great time to like start new habits. That's what I've heard. Um, so I was like, I'm going to do no phone in the morning. And when I say no phone in the morning, I mean like that's not the first thing I'm going to grab for. I'm going to get up and you know, go pee, drink water, like do my skincare, do a journal or whatever, do multiple things, go like 30 minutes in the morning without my phone. And I was so good at it for definitely a while, probably, I don't know how many months, but there was like multiple months where I literally did not go on my phone in the mornings. And I felt a true difference in my life. Like I was like, wow, I'm much calmer and all this stuff. And then I just got back in the habit one day. I, I think maybe when I was sick or something, I was just like, lazy in bed and just feeling like ugh. and so I got on my phone and from that day forward I've been on my phone like every morning it's just my habit and I don't always like scroll for an hour or something but it's just like that's the first thing I grab for and I do not like that at all like I really want to kick that habit so I'm hoping in the new year well I could start tomorrow right but that's kind of like one of my new year's goals and plans is to like really just get a good morning routine and not be on my phone first thing because I think it really adds to my general feeling of like feeling overwhelmed and stuff like that. So anyway, if anyone wants to go on that journey with me and work on that, I'm definitely going to try. But anyway, I am going to go to bed now and... I'm gonna end off this vlog. I really feel like my vlogs have been very random and kind of thrown together for the past few weeks. And I kind of told you guys why that is, just cause I've been traveling and working on my brand stuff. And I just feel like my life, it's a, it's a pretty good representation of my life to be honest, because I feel like my life has been very chaotic the past like month. And my vlogs have reflected that. Like, I've been uploading kind of randomly. And also, it's just random footage thrown together. But I figure I'll just put up what I film so you guys can see, you know, what I'm up to. Even if it might not be as organized or flow as well as it usually does. I am sorry for that. And hopefully in the new year, it will flow better. But I still want to hang out and talk to you guys. So, you know, they might just be a little random for now. I love you guys so much. Thank you to everyone who came to the live shows in Salt Lake, in Phoenix, also to our Dallas one and our LA one. It was just such a fun 
like first little mini tour and I can't wait for more shows next year. Obviously we couldn't do them without you guys. So I really appreciate all of you guys coming if you're also watching my vlogs. You're a true bestie. But thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Love you, bye.